All right, so welcome to game number two. Let's find out who our players are going to be for today. It's going to be The Void and Kant's bottom left side. Top left, it will be Yuki with Stefanit, a new player. Top right hand side will be Jim Shark with Fluffy. Bottom right hand side will be Andrew versus your mom. Let's take a look at the unit production real quick just to see what these guys are planning. We have double Zergling actually. It looks like Yuki going Zergling and your mom. While the rest, of course, going the very standard play, but look at this. A ton of specters for absolutely everybody, which this is going to be fantastic for Yuki and your mom. Uh, wow, these Zerglings do so good versus specters. Uh, they don't do that great versus Marauders, so this might actually be the one time where Kant's counters. And look at this, a really early save coming from Fluffy. Even able to pick off some of Kant's units. And we'll see if that early save can put him in a snowball effect. He did lose a little bit of army when doing that. Let's take a look at the score. Yep, he is in a decent lead. Let's see how long they'll be able to hold it. He does have to wait for some of his unit supply to come back up. Meanwhile, it's going to be the Void versus Andrew. And a little bit of a skirmish against Yuki and Kant's. I don't think Kant's has really anything to worry about, though. He's going to be able to kill these guys relatively easy. And there he goes, the Marauders reign supreme. And we have a DT coming out for your mom. Was not enough. And look, Fluffy is going to use his early lead advantage to get some Reapers. Now Reapers do have an ability to clone one another. So we'll see if he decides to use it. Essentially having eight on the field. Very, very strong early on. Oh, but what is this? A little sneaky sneak. That is going to provide a little bit of vision as Jim Shark decided to go with an infester. Down goes a fungal. This army is going to have a lot of utility. They're going to have to deal with the D8 charges. They're going to have to deal with the fungal. So Blinken does happen. Was he able to get any of the big units? No, he was not. The scan does go down and it does force him to retreat. Meanwhile, these Reapers are just wreaking havoc on the army. And a nice engagement there for top right. <laughs> Meanwhile, it looks like the Void and Andrea is still trying to, like, basically pay, play patty cake here. Uh, they just keep exchanging units between one another, and since they are so similar, uh, nothing is really happening. The action is going to be topside, folks. Oh, look at this. We have a High Templar coming out for Stefanit. And Yuki also has a DT. Okay, so... They're going to try to counter the threat that's happening from top right with those units. And Andrew is somehow able to survive against Kant. Um, I think the Spectres do okay versus the Marauders. I'm not sure if they counter them exactly or not. I don't know. Spectres are super strong. They pretty much counter everything except Zergling. So I think, I think what they specialize, though, in is... Zealots. So surprisingly, he was able to just completely murder those marauders. So let's take a look at the score tab. Top right is still able to keep that lead, but whoa, there was a huge savior that came out from bottom right. Even, was that a heat seeking missile? Uh, there was definitely something. That could have been a D8 charge. I'm not quite sure. I don't see... I don't see anybody... Oh, yep, there is a raven. Okay. 
it's just really, really, really far behind. <laughs> so that was a heat-seeking missile for Andre. Tiny little bit of feed to Kant's. And Fluffy and Jim Shark still in a great lead. Let's see if he decides to sideswipe these guys. No, he's actually going straight up middle. No, he actually did decide to go after Purple and oh no, a huge fungal taking out almost all of that army and oh my gosh, Kant's cleans it up. Meanwhile, Andrew coming up the side, those DH charges killing about half the army. And Andrew does have a ghost. He sniped. Oh, what did what did he get? Was that the fester? It was the fester. He was able to get it. So he is going to have to rebuild it. Meanwhile, whoa, there was a snipe from the High Templar, I think. I think that was the High Templar. We do see double DTs, so I think he lost his High Templar there. So that was sniped. We'll see if he decides to revive it. And look at this Fluffy and Gymshark just melting Topless Army. Those DTs are a little bit overextended. He is going to back out. And look at this. Both teams seeming to use the DTs on top right, trying to eliminate that threat. It doesn't work. And they lose. Oh, he lo they lost everything except for those DTs there. From both teams, they lost a High Templar. There it is. It is being revived. And it looks like, oh, it looks like Andrew deciding to go with his phantoms. So now his army is super strong. Look at those phantoms. That is a scary force. The Void still has Spectre, but he does have two attack upgrades. So we'll see how effective that's going to be. A lot of scans going down. It looks like Fluffy deciding to back out his units. He backed out his ghost. He's not quite sure what kind of attack they're planning on doing. And Andrew is really putting himself out there. He does have to be careful that he doesn't get sniped from behind. But he is the in essentially second place when compared to Team 3. He does have 2,124 which means that those phantoms are super strong. A lot of scans going down. It looks like everybody's trying to find those ghosts. And actually, a big engagement coming up from top left. The double uh, VP... Uh, maybe I didn't see a double. I think that was only one VP. But he was able to pick off the Fester. That is going to be a bit of a setback from Gymshark. Oh, wow. There's a huge engagement going on. Is he going to get the Savior off? I don't know. Everything is lagging. There was a save. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't able to scroll up because it was so laggy. But that Savior just wiped out. So many units. That was a huge save for bottom left. And it looks like top left is trying to put even more pressure on bottom left. Andrew coming in from behind. He is going to eliminate that army. And he's also going to push in himself... No, he does decide to back out. And look at this, even more pressure. Oh my gosh, your mob coming in with their standard Zerglings, but he does get the double TT off. Excuse me. Uh, the Marines coming in, but they're 0-0. Zero, zero. So it looks like he was really just relying on these double Marines possibly to try to get some feed for Andrew, uh, but Andrew just did not push forward. And look at this, Fluffy deciding to go out with Goliath. I gotta look at the unit tabs real quick. 
Let's see what units are out on the field. We do have two ghosts, three actually, so that Infestor could be in trouble. Um, we have the Goliaths, we have the double DTs, we have Reaver? Okay, so we have Reavers coming out for the Void. They are at one armor, two attack. Now, Reavers do benefit greatly from armor. So, we will see if he continues to increase the armor. And the High Templar has returned for top left. Huge battle going on between Fluffy and Andreu. It looks like his partner did back up, but Andreu is so strong. Look at him just absolutely destroy these units here. And this is mostly fodder, so that way his uh, Reapers can deal some damage. Andreu not even caring. He's totally going full-on Honey Badger. Doesn't give a shit. Even though he lost quite a few units, though, look at the money that he earned. He's at 3,744, so those Phantoms being very, very efficient. But remember, guys, it's all about army size and what you do with it. So, these a lot of these guys still have a really sizable army. Anything could happen. Andrew could get surrounded. And it looks like Phantoms are going up against the Hybrid Reavers. Is this going to be enough? It looks like Fluffy coming out the side. No, actually, the Fungal goes down. Double DT also going down in the Void. And look at this. All of his army is gone. He has the Hybrid Reavers still. But they are actually really low on health, and he's going after your mom's units. Looks like he was also fighting the DTs there, but unable to get them. Something was killed down here for 250 points. I don't know if that was one of his DTs or not. But it was definitely something. Meanwhile, Andrea is in a little bit of a pickle here, as the Reavers did split the army. He's now waiting for your mom's DTs. And this is an interesting choice. It looks like Yuki deciding to go with Immortals. They do a little bit of extra damage versus the Hybrid Reavers. And Kant still has not quite yet changed his Merc. Uh, the reason for that we discussed the other day is that um, changing the Merc does give a little bit more feed for seemingly little benefit, at least when it comes to Marauders. So that's why he has not upgraded them yet. He wants to try to keep that feed down as much as possible. And it looks like despite the savior from bottom right, Fluffy was able to strong arm that army. And I dare to say, but I think Andre is in a little bit of trouble. His Offering army supply complete. is now down to 93. So it's going to take him quite a while to get that army supply back up. Double DT, the Void did go down, but I think he lost, I think Yuki lost one of his heroes. He was able to get the Double Void, but unfortunately, Jim Shark's units were just too strong, and they were able to take him out. An Observer now for the Void, that is a wise choice, as there are a ton of invisible units on the field. We have tons of Ghosts, tons of DTs. So that is smart to get. In fact, there is even another ghost coming down here for Andreu. And once again, Andreu is kind of stuck. He has to wait for his army supply to rebuild. He is chronoing them out with that support tower, but it is going to take some time. Small little drop on this left side Zolnaga. Nothing new, they're just trying to vie for vision does not have it yet, but I'm sure he will. I don't think there's enough Immortals. There is a DT, but he might be waiting for his other DT to come out. Meanwhile, there is a battle coming down from Fluffy and your mom. Who will come out on top? I'm not sure. The Marines did stim, but Fluffy's 4 attack alas, very strong. He was sideswiped a little bit by the Void. But I don't think it was enough. Oh no, actually putting in 
the Goliaths in the fray. I think that might have just been a little bit of a misclick. The Void Prism does go down, but unable to kill that Medi, which means, oh my gosh, look at the army size from Kant's. Even doing a call down to try to uh, keep those units from retreating, that might have been a teeny, teeny little bit of a waste, but that doesn't matter because look, there's so many units here. He's just going to be able to strong arm uh, Stefanet with this unit. He's got to drop the units though, buddy. Uh, there he goes. He did. He did now finally drop the units. And I think he's going to be victorious, but he did lose quite a bit of units there. So I'm not sure exactly how effective that was. Let me take a look at the points. Actually, it was quite effective. Kant's uh, coming up from behind is now in second place. Fluffy is just now eking forward with that attack. Uh, but he was in first, so that was a very powerful position and a very powerful attack. Very beneficial, but look at this Andrew, oh no! He lost these units again, which means his army supply is back down so low. In fact, there is even a drop. Andrew is in a little bit of trouble. He could lose the Shadow Ops and that would be terrible. It is able to survive, but now he has to be super careful of drops. As you can see, the Medivac did load for Void. He is going to come in. He's going to try to drop down. He brings an Observer with him just to see if there are any ghosts. As he does not want to get sniped. So what is he going to do? It looks like, no, he's actually changing his tune. He's not going after the Shadow Ops. Instead, he's going top left, and Fluffy sees it, and he says, screw it, I'm going to drop, and he almost got the Medi. That was really, really close. This is so dangerous for Fluffy, but he's going completely undetected, it seems, and uncontested. Top left just not doing anything to stop it, and Stefanet taking a lot of damage there. Yuki is now finally in the game. We got that shield matrix going down on the Immortals. They are going to absorb some damage. So this is not a good engagement for Kans. He's going to have to wait. But Gymshark is in a nice position here. Oh no, he's actually getting sandwiched. Fluffy coming in from behind. Oh no, Yuki is losing so much here. The double DT is not able to do anything. There's one savior left. He does not use it though. A fungal goes down. The storm hits and a miss. And he doesn't use another storm. There it goes, finally. And that time it did connect. Force field going down. Not very effective. Meanwhile, Kans is trying to put some pressure on top right. He needs to lift off these units and actually drop them down. The void is lagging. <laughs> and Fluffy right away with the fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's because he, he was doing an attack up here. There he goes, he just dropped. But they lost something. Uh, was that, no, he still has the DT. I think one DT was lost, but something else was lost as well. <laughs> That was some nice uh, shit talking. I mean, that was like instantly too. <laughs> Type that so fast. So we have two, two one cracklings with. Uh, it looks like he does have some hit point upgrades. I'm not sure how effective that's going to be though versus these armies. Crackling is okay versus Goliaths, but if Goliaths have a little bit more upgrades, they do tend to neutralize the Cracklings pretty easily. Especially with the ability to lift off. And here goes the Cracklings. Yeah, they're not doing a tremendous amount of damage. As you can see, they're still surviving despite being completely surrounded. And I think Fluffy knows it. He doesn't care. He's going to drop down so the Phantoms can deal damage. It 
looks like more drop pressure coming from Kant's. Is he going to do something? There's double DTs for your, uh, your mom, so... It looks like he did drop down, but... Wasn't very effective. Instead, deciding to stay in this position, which is effective, he did get some good kills there. There was a drop for top left. A savior does come down. In fact, a void prism goes down, able to get the rest of those units. Gymshark fungling a few of these immortals. Picking that off. Oh no, did he pick off that medi? I think he did. So top left losing a medi there. And I think that's going to be favorable for top right. In fact, let's take a look at the points here today, guys. Andrew, Gymshark, and Kant's are relatively equal, with, of course, the not-so-equal Fluffy, who is once again at least 2,000 points in the lead of everybody else. Looks like Fluffy may have lost a medevac there. Your mom coming in from behind, he did do a Void Prism, and I think he just focused down the Medi. Fluffy getting another one. These Reavers now are at 3 attack, 2 armor. I think he should be upgrading the armor. Yeah, he does get 50% bonus to armor. So upgrading armor is really good. Fluffy losing quite a bit of units here. Almost picking up that Shadow Ops. And top left could be in trouble. They only have one more ace up their sleeve. In fact, they kind of are showing it too, as Yuki did get double bunker. Oh no! Oh no! Top left is in trouble! They just used their final savior. And oh no! Let's see if Fluffy knows it. He is loading up, he is getting ready. And yeah, I think he knows. I think he's well aware of what's going on. He's going to try to drop top again. There is nothing that is preventing this. The Fester is ready. In fact, look at this. This could be a really good position for the Fester. Oh, and a huge fungal. Look at that fungal picking off all those units. That was excellent. Nice bait by Fluffy. And the Shadow Ops is in so much trouble. Is he going to drop down? Oh, no. The double void, possibly? Nope, only one void went down, which means that the compound is destroyed. <laughs> it looks like more lag from the void. That's okay, guys. We're, we're just taking a small break. There we go. Finally, he, he does stay alive. The void lagging just a little bit. <laughs> I will survive. Alright, so since there is a lull in the action, let's take a look at the scoreboard real quick. Fluffy still with that 2,000 point lead. Everybody else still remaining relatively the same. The only oddball here is your mom. He has fallen behind. Uh, he does have 2-2 two -two cracks with um, some extra hit point upgrades. He has the double DT. So perhaps he's trying to play a more supportive role for his partner. Um, as he just does not really do the damage against everybody else. Everybody is so much more upgraded. And, uh... I think that's what he's planning on doing is possibly going into a Dark Archon. Now, there's nothing that would suggest it yet, but that could be their plan. In fact, as you can see, the double Void Prism goes off, but his units are just not really strong. So he did have to retreat. I mean, look at this. A couple of hybrid Reavers are keeping off pretty much this entire army. So 
so not quite that effective. He does need to get some stronger units. It looks like he's upgraded his marines a little bit. So perhaps shying away from that, he is going to start upgrading his marines. We'll see if he upgrades the range and the attack speed. Okay, here's Fluffy again. He could possibly be gearing up for a drop. Let's see what he plans on doing. He is going up top. He's being so sneaky. Is he going to boost? No, he did. Oh, there he goes. He did boost. The storm does go down. But that Shadow Ops, I think, is looking pretty safe. I don't think the units are going to be able to do anything. Double Void Prism goes down, and yep, sure enough. So that attack was abated for now. Meanwhile, there is a, a Void Prism. Double VP goes down on Cons. Is he going to survive? I don't know. He's got a pretty good position. In fact, these units are kind of funneled right here, allowing for Cons to be able to attack. And he has nine attack for his Marines. He has the range upgrade. He has the attack upgrade as well, which actually makes him very, very dangerous. So don't discount him just yet. That's why he's holding a lead. Choosing to get those Marines. Marines get so beefy as time goes on. Those Phantoms are also super beefy. Anything can still go. Nobody is out just yet. Look at all these scans. Holy shit. <laughs> is that enough scans, Kants? Jeez. Where is he getting the energy from to do that? I'm pretty sure it was Kant's because that was a red, but what was he scanning up there for? Oh, that's why. He, uh, I think he switched from a support tower to an anti-unit. Either that, or he did just use a consumption, and he got back all of that energy, so perhaps he just... Didn't really give a shit, he just felt like scanning, whatever. As you know, the anti-unit towers do have the ability to regenerate their energy, which is strange that a support tower doesn't, but that's fine. We'll just go with it. A lot of scans going down, a lot of lag. So I know it kind of looks like just a few frames here and there, and that's because it is... In fact, was there a savior that came out? I did see, like, a green beam. I'm not quite sure if that was the support tower or not. And holy cow, even more scanning's going down. It's almost like it never ends. Marines at four attack. The hybrid reavers... I'm not quite sure what the hybrid reavers are at. Let me take a look. He's at four armor. There we go. He is finally upgrading the armor, which makes that that armor go up so much more. He basically has 13 armor or so whenever he charges. Making them very, very strong, especially with all the hit points that they have. There are some scans going down. It looks like we have double drops. There was a double void. I do believe, or was that one void? I think that was double void. A lot of damage happening. Trying to survive. Oh my gosh, this is so laggy. Because there's so much happening. A drop coming down from the void. Is he going to be able to get the compound? Oh, it was healed. I think he's going to be just fine. That, that doesn't mean there isn't still a danger from Kant's. He does have a full medi still. He could possibly choose to drop again, and top left could be in trouble. They are out of saviors. Let's take a look at the scoreboard real quick. It looks like both Yuki and Stefano is pretty far behind. I mean, he's not in last pa place, as we know your mom did fall a little bit far behind, but getting hit over and over again with Fluffy and his superior units, look at this, 
It's like 7,000 to 13. He's almost double in points. It's almost unfair. So Fluffy will continue to feed on top left. We'll see if bottom left decides to drop top left while they are distracted. <laughs> it looks like the void is lagging once again. What is going on? I think the void with that dial up connection so strong <laughs> this is all mind games folks it's all part of it's all part of his plan okay actually it looks like there's a pause called so i will pause it if he does decide to drop. This is a good opportunity for you guys to uh, grab refreshment if you need it. So I'm not sure if I want to quite kick him yet. I don't want him to drop. Oh. All right. So a pause was called. Guys, go ahead and uh, relax. The game will continue shortly. Poor Void. Poor Void. All right, so the pausing is done. We are back in the game, guys. Let's see what will happen. Hopefully everybody is here. Sometimes during pauses, people tend to go a little bit AFK. But it looks like we have some movement. Everything should be okay. Look at this dirty pool. Ha <laughs> ha! Kant's coming out with the siege tank. Now there are DTs, so there is going to need to be a lot of scans that go down in order for this to work. But bottom right, do not have saviors, which means that this tactic is actually going to be really, really strong, especially with top right uh, trying to attack your mom. And this is just only providing even more time for Kant's to come in with this double siege and make this magic happen oh my gosh he needs to bring some of his army though so just in case he does get dropped i don't know if this is going to be enough he does have some in the medi he does have the void a snipe does go down oh and it does pick off one of the sieges he just now gets the scan the scan was late so one of the sieges are going to go down and here comes that huge army cons is in position the siege tank doing work on the shadow ops lots of scans going down and finally he does bring that army here this is so dangerous for bottom right he does not want to lose that compound he's not quite sure what to do oh but look at this oh my gosh Yuki actually deciding to drop Kant's. He does use a savior. I don't know if he really needed to. I mean, just to save a 150 compound. Uh, that might have been a, probably a little bit of a panic. Uh, maybe a little bit of a mistake, but we will see. Andrea is ignoring this, though, which means that the siege tanks 
are going uncontested. Look at this constant saying, all right, well, I'm just going to drop you. He has Jim Rainers. They do have nine attack. And they are going to town Andrea, losing that compound. So he is not going to be able to get them. In fact, nope, taking a look at the points, he does have enough. He has enough minerals. So is he going to revive it, though? I'm not sure, because he does have to deal with the fact that there is a siege tank here. So his answer is possibly to get these siege tanks of his own. He does have three siege tanks. No, actually, he's using them to kind of help defend against Fluffy. But he does have them pushed out a little bit. He might want to back them up just a tad. If he does drop down, they can get focused. And as we know, Fluffy is very good at using that focusing whenever he does do a drop. Double Void Prism down on Gymshark. Not going to be enough. The Immortals do run away. A lot of scans going down. It looks like... I think Andre lost a ghost. He's trying to push forward. There's just one siege tank here. He's being so mischievous. Even a drop coming down from the hybrid reavers. Oh, it looks like Kant's actually uh, stimming here. And look, he's got so much army. Oh my gosh. He could keep vine per position. It would be so hilarious if he got another siege tank. Possibly put them right here. That would be a really good position for them to be in. Uh, and he could just possibly try to continue to force engagements. And if he does, I think that will go in his favor. But he does retreat. This is interesting. Um, possibly he is afraid that he might get dropped. So he does reposition his army here. And understandably so, because Yuki could possibly drop down. He is devoting a lot of attention to bottom right. Yuki could use that to his advantage, and I think he will not, actually. He decides to retreat, uh, instead possibly opting to go for top right. There's so much lag because there's a big battle going on, and this is going to be it. For bottom right, there is no way of surviving. This is going to be it. In fact, even picking up a Colossus in the mix. This is huge for Kant's. He gets both those heroes... He does get the compound, and GG for bottom right. That is going to be it. Let's take a look at Kant's units real quick. He does have 3 attack for Marauders. He really doesn't need that attack. He's got 11 attack Gem Rainers. They are fully upgraded. And strange that he decided to, to go in on bottom right let's take a look at the points he he did essentially lose his feed that that was his feed he is going to have to start putting pressure now on yuki it would be nice if he could put pressure on fluffy but fluffy is still so strong so he can't quite do it just yet and it looks like yuki trying to fight off fluffy he does have those shields they do absorb damage. Is it enough? The shields are gone, and just like that, oh, they start to melt. Jim Shark's Marines are at 5 attack, Phantom's at 7. Lots of hit points. Fluffy is at 9 attack Elias. He is starting to upgrade his Marines. He does have the range. He does have the Stim. He also has the attack speeds. Let's take a look at the Hybrid Reavers. Now, these have 620 hit points. That 4 armor. We'll see if Kant decides to upgrade the units. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you do gain control of your uh, teammate's CC so that you can use sabers and whatnot, which means you can also still continue to upgrade armor. And every armor upgrade makes Hybrid Reavers just that much better. So I almost want him to... I almost want him to continue with the Marines that he has, because I don't think he really needs much more attack than this and just continuing to upgrade the armor.
We do have the Dark Archons coming out. Where is that? Was that Dark Templar or Dark Archon? I think it was just Dark Templar. I thought that might be a Dark Archon merge, but I didn't read it. Let's take a look at the scoreboard real quick. Kant's is in second. Fluffy is in first. Andriu is dead, which means that we have first, second, and trailing quite far behind is Yuki in third. So it looks like this is going to basically come down to top right versus bottom left. It was Archon for Kant's? Oh my gosh! It is an Archon for Kant's. Why, though? Why? Why? Can someone explain that? Like, why? Why did he decide to do that? That is so strange. Uh, I almost think that I would just upgrade the Reavers. You know, get them super strong. Because these guys are are not going to have anything to stop the Reavers as soon as sudden death happens. It's interesting that he decided to go with the Archon. But that extended Void Prism can be handy. Um, so if he can lock down the Goliaths here, I don't think the Marines are quite strong enough yet. So there we go, the Dark Archon is out. Again, like I said, I think it's a strange choice, but I'm really curious to see how he implements it. He's already got such strong marines, he really just needs an even stronger front line. And those hybrid reavers, they are strong as shit. I honestly don't think there's really anything out on the field that could contest with the armor from the reavers. I mean, the, they don't have anything. There's no archon, there's no dark archon, there's no queen. The queen could definitely contend. Like, look at this. I, I almost think that he should wait, I think, for SD before doing this. But do they have any saves? Oh, no, actually, they don't. So, yep, he's just going to steamroll. No, there was a save. Yuki purchased a save. What? Oh, my gosh. Yuki purchased the save, and he actually gave the kill to Fluffy. That was a huge blow for Kant's. Look at his army supplies. Army supply is so low now. That was a sick, sick savior. And that pretty much just possibly changed the entire tide of the game. Because now Fluffy is at 21,000 oh, while Kant's is at 17. He does have that Dark Archon. He's going to have to rely on it. It looks like Kant's deciding to use the rest of his money to possibly go for some temple tech. Why though? I don't understand this. Why are you spending the money for it when you have these beautiful, delicious reavers in the front line? That is so strange. Uh, but I guess his reasoning is, is that he wants to have as much supply as humanly possible um, in order to defend against top right. It is two versus one. So I can totally understand that. There is the VP. He doesn't have enough, though, to follow up with this, which means he is going to have to wait for that cooldown. And we are now at SD, which this puts him at such a such a position. Uh, that's why I was saying he should wait until SD to do that. Strange decision by Kods. He does not have the army supply. Look at this. Almost a full supply for Fluffy. Bottom left is so fucked, and I'm pretty sure that I can say that without without issue. <laughs> I mean, it's true. He is fucked. That Dark Archon was getting hit by those Oracles. The Oracles were killed, however, by the Gym Rainers. Very, very strong. There's just not enough hybrids. There are temples now, but there's no armor on these. He is going to have to get some armor for them. 
The temples do benefit from that armor. They do benefit from hit points mostly. It's it's mostly hit points that they benefit from. There is the Maelstrom. Hans is pushing forward, but is it enough? My gosh, Fluffy's so strong. No, it's not. And just like that, Kant's loses. I don't think he's going to be able to hold off these kind of onslaughts. Look at this huge army that's left. And just for shits and giggles, they get a Spectre. The, the Dark Archon was definitely the wrong play. I mean, he, he just he didn't need to do that. He needed the Hybrid Reavers. And he needed to keep that army supply. Losing that army supply was huge. I think this is going to be it for bottom left. He is keeping that dark Archon, but only barely. In fact, Fluffy just doesn't give a fuck. He's going in with these oracles. <laughs> he's. I think he's probably spent... Uh, I think he's bought at least nine of them so far. That is crazy. But I, I think it's safe to say that the Archon, probably not the best choice, but the even more damaging thing that happened was Kant's going in. Yep, that save. Oh, that savior. That savior totally bit him in the ass. <laughs> Alright, so congratulations to Team 3. That's going to be it for this game. Let's see if they decide to move into game number 3. Stay tuned. <laughs>